Good morning. This is Paula. 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 Good morning. Are you ready to play 50 50 with Mark and Christy? Yes. All right. So, okay. So, today's 50 50 also dedicated to Joey from uh, the old school TV show Blossom because everything we're about to share is a whoa, 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 whoa kind of thing. <laughs> All right. All right. Here we go. First question. Okay. Here we go, Paula. Did you know that in 1852, on this day, February 2nd, in London, England, the world's first public blank was opened. What was it? This is in 1852, the first public what was open? Was it the world's first public cheese dip convention? That probably would have been me. I would have been there. Um, or the world's first public flushing toilets. Oh, my. Mm, what do you think? Wow. I think it was flushing toilets. It was. <laughs> what a start, Mark. Wow. That, that is why February 2nd is such a whoa kind of day. Whoa. Hey, and, and just so you know, every time the toilet flushes now, you can just say thank you, London. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Praise God. All Praise right. God. Also, today, February 2nd, celebrates the playing of a certain instrument. Today is play your what day? Is it play your ukulele day? Hmm. Or play your nose flute day today. Mm, there are nose flutes, by the way. That's, it's a real thing. They really do exist, and people are really good at them. Uh-huh. What do you think? <laughs> um, ukulele? It is. Play your ukulele day wow, today. Wow, what a performance by That's Paula. Impressive. I mean, she showed up today. <laughs> Fun fact, my son Caden plays the ukulele. I might have to get him. Caden plays the Are you kidding me? No, he really does. Might have to ask him to play me a little song today. Wow. All right. right. Well, here we go, Paula. Third question. You are just on a roll today. February 2nd is the anniversary of the longest boxing match in history under modern rules. It happened in 1892 between Mark and his wife. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. (laughs) Here's the thing. It wouldn't be the longest boxing match. I might not last one round. She's pretty tough. It it was actually between Harry Sharp and Frank Crosby. How many rounds was the longest boxing match in history on this day? It's February 2nd. Was it 77 rounds or 23 rounds in honor of Michael Jordan? Because we recognize him in every sport, no matter what, for as long as we shall live. What do you think? Seventy seven. It was seventy seven. Oh, this is crazy. Paula is she was meant She's for this killing game. This. All right, final one. Here we go. Today, February second, <laughs> is Groundhog Day. Millions of people gather today in uh, Pennsylvania for one huge groundhog festival, but also to watch their favorite groundhog, wondering whether or not he will see his shadow. What is this famous groundhog's name? Is it Punxsutawney Phil? Or LeBron James. Ooh. Both are the goat. <laughs> Both are the goat. <laughs> what do you think? It is Punks and Toddy Phil. It is Punks and Toddy Phil. It is. All right. We are going to hook you up with a pair of tickets to see Matthew West and Cochran and Company February 29th at First Baptist and Van Buren. Paula, I got a question. Can you give me your best Joey from Blossom? Whoa. 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 <laughs> That's good. Thanks Thanks for for playing playing 50 50 with with Mark Mark and Christy. Whoa. Whoa. Real people, real life, real fun. Family Fun Friday. The KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. 90.9 KLRC. Good morning. It's Mark and Christy and four very early rising teenagers in the studio with us this morning. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. So we have Noah, Morgan, Cameron, and Tav from Lifeway Christian. And all kinds of personalities here. We have, we've got a computer scientist yes. personality over here. We've got a soccer player. Got a soccer player. It's Morgan. We've got an and artist. Cameron's an artist. She does window painting in, on the square in Bentonville. Mm-hmm, How about that? Impressive. And then we have stuntman Tab over here. Yes. <laughs> Who's on his third yes. energy drink. Okay, no, maybe third. <laughs> I know. And he's been showing me, I mean, videos of him literally jumping like 
flipping off of buildings. <laughs> it's, it's pretty. So we actually have Spider Man in the yeah. studio with us today. So yeah. it's pretty incredible. Just in civilian clothes, but yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. So I've got a question for you all. So first of all, thanks for hanging out with us today. Yeah, thanks, thanks for, for having us. us. Thank you. Yeah, awesome group. Super job shadowing. polite, yeah. and they're job shadowing. They're from Lifeway Christian School um, in Centerton, and so we're excited to have you here. And so I just have a, a quick question. I, I know that you all probably envisioned something on your way here this morning. First of all, I'm impressed that you all got up. <laughs> See, who, who got up the earliest, would you say? I did. 3.30. What, what, 3.30. 3.30, okay. Yeah. That's pretty early. It was really yeah. early. 3.35. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it was 3.35. She's right behind okay. her. Okay, okay. So what, what, what would you say you thought in your mind, and then you got here, and you're like, oh, this is different. This isn't what I imagined. Well, I really wanted to have social interaction with you guys and then, like, get to know you guys more and personally. Uh-huh. And then, like, just be on air and listen to people. Got okay. It. And you Which, thought we would be just happening. totally stuck up and not talk to you the whole time. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah, I told Mark he had to talk to you today. That's why he's talking. <laughs> oh, thanks to my mother, Stacy. <laughs> it's okay. That's awesome. Morgan, what did you envision? Well, I thought it would be more like business and like go, go, go and uptight. But this is just super chill and really fun. It's really funny just talking yeah. with you guys. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, yeah, we have a great time in when here. When Sean, our boss, gets here, tell him I like uptight, hard work. <laughs> we were yes. the whole time. Tell him we're right, super serious <laughs> about our yes. guys. Are yes, hustling definitely. All the time. Yeah. yeah. Good, okay. good call, Mark. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I'm going to have to agree with Morgan. I was not expecting, like, I was expecting more of a corporate building and y'all, like, have a whole plan and figure out what you're going to say beforehand. But you guys are so relaxed and just playing it by ear, and it's a lot of fun to watch y'all. Oh, well, we do have a lot of fun in here. We do. That's yeah. part of the goal. And That's, yeah, we're not very good at planning, are we, Mark? <laughs> they, they, they picked up on that pretty quickly. Again, do not mention that to Sean. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. yeah, we were, we were very what well planned out. What about you, Tab? Stunt man, Tab. Dear Sean, they are very hardworking people. They spend all their time planning, and it's fantastic to get to plan with them. Aww. Tab's going to run for office. He's got our back, yeah. yeah. Well, Spider-Man, Mayor Tab. Spider-Man. Yes, Tab. exactly. Well, we're super excited that you guys are hanging out with us this morning. We're going to have a lot of fun. We'll do a little 50-50 with Mark and Christy mm-hmm. here in about 20 minutes. Yeah, giving away some Matthew West mm-hmm. tickets today. Let's cover it up. The KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. 90.9 KLRC. 90.9 KLRC. It's the new one from Mercy Me. Always only Jesus. It's Mark and Christy and hanging out with us in the studio this morning. We've got four students from Lifeway Christian who are job shadowing today. Mm-hmm. We've been having a lot of fun. Uh, Tav is here. Pretty sure that energy drink has not worn off in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> I don't know that Tav needs an energy <laughs> no, drink. No. By the way, he's a, he's a stuntman, Spider-Man type yeah, guy. Yeah, we've learned that about him for seen sure, the videos. too. Yep. You've got Cameron Cameron's here. Cameron's over here. She's the artist, uh-huh, for sure. Uh-huh. Uh, Morgan, soccer player. Uh-huh. You get that. And then on the end here is Noah. He's our computer science guru. Uh-huh. And um, we thought we'd let a couple of you guys, because we drilled you with some questions earlier this morning. Uh, we'll give a chance for a couple of you guys to ask a question. So, Morgan, do you have a question? Yeah, um, I was wondering what your first impression of each other was. Oh, first impression. I would love to know Mark's answer on this one. Okay, so the first time we met, <laughs> it was probably when you came to my office to talk about the Brave Place podcast. Yes. Right, years mm-hmm. before you started working right. here. First impression. So Mark had never met me before, and I had just sent an email and just said, hey, I got this podcast idea. You don't know me. I'm random girl um, mm-hmm. who loves cheese dip and i thought maybe that would pull him in it, it didn't i should have said gummy bears <laughs> just but, didn't know at the yeah time. and would you would klrc be interested in something like this yeah and then he said yes yeah so let's meet let's, let's talk about it yeah first impression when you first got that email were you kind of like what in the world i was like this girl's crazy yeah <laughs> i just get that a lot I'm totally <laughs> <laughs> um, so my first impression was so I remember Christy saying something about kind of wanting to be like the Barbara Walters like I love asking <laughs> questions right kind of the, and they had the background you've done some TV stuff that kind of mm-hmm. thing and I definitely remember this I was like oh yeah she's super talented she's really good at asking questions wow really like you could tell 
Got a lot of gifting into that, right? Which was awesome. Because of me saying that, I want to... Just a little bit of your... I, I'd heard, I think I'd heard maybe one of your podcasts by then. Okay. So I was like, okay, man. Like, she she can ask some good questions, which is awesome. But even more importantly, and this is really true, I really did have this impression of her. It's like, she's like a really genuine person, which is really mm. important. Like, you feel like, okay, that's the real deal. She, like, she's not walking in here, especially, like, if it's kind of a... This wasn't a job interview, but you're kind of pitching this thing that you care about. It'd be really easy to kind of like, I'm trying to just put on a front here or something like that. And it wasn't that way at all. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, okay, this is probably why people are really connecting to her podcast is she's just, and, and you've been speaking and all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yeah, real deal. Okay. I mean, you're a little yeah. scary too, but <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just well, kidding. I, I didn't know that that was your first thought of me, so... That's, there you go. Thank you for saying that. That made my day, Mark. Nice. All right. Okay. My first impression of Mark. Um, I thought the same thing. I thought you were genuine. Barbara Walters. Yeah. I. Yeah. I. Whenever you say genuine and you couple me with Barbara Walters, I find that kind of funny. But I did the Barbara Walters aspect. They don't even know who Barbara Walters right, is. Right. Exactly. Do y'all no know idea. who Barbara no. is? No. Not a clue. No. Yeah. Uh, before your time. Yeah. Well, she used to interview people all over the world. Yeah. Um, politicians, world leaders, famous actors. I didn't, it wasn't about that for me. What Barbara Walters did that impressed me. She literally could talk to anyone about anything. And she even wrote a book that was titled that. So yeah. that was the drive there. Uh, it wasn't, you know, to go interview world leaders. So, yeah. um, but my first impression of Mark was definitely genuineness. And I knew he was a good people reader. Because I was like, he is trying to figure me out. I, I felt like you probably were. and <laughs> Probably so. And I would say, I thought in my head, he has the gift of discernment. And so okay. that was one thought I had. Nice. And then I thought he really loves what he does and he cares about what he does. And it's really important to him who works here. And I, I got that vibe and i knew he was a hard working man nice. and a good man so okay those are all my impressions Thank of you, you. that's yeah. awesome a lot has changed since then <laughs> none of that's but. true anymore but it was true at the time <laughs> Noah, what's your question what do you got for us one thing i have a question about is uh, what are common interests you have of each other mm, things oh. that we have in common like things that we're interested in uh pickleball for sure yeah both we've both gotten into like pickleball uh, we still need to find a time when Tiff and I can play with you yeah. and Mac. That'd be fun. Yeah, definitely pickleball. But um, besides pickleball, just sports. We talk about sports a lot um, off the mic. Um, talk about different mm-hmm. games that have happened. So we both love sports. Yeah. Um, I, we both love God. We yeah. talk about Jesus, spiritual that's things. That's a good one. We're supposed to answer that right. Yes. No, it's true. Yeah. Yeah. I think um, that's probably why. And, and actually, that's true probably of a lot of us, if not all of us in this building. Yeah. There's this little mission statement sign you guys probably saw when you walk in that says, share hope in Jesus with as many people as possible. Like, that's the thing. We got a variety of different personalities around here, mm-hmm. people different, right? But that's the thing that we all have in common, for yeah. sure. And I, I think so, too, what we have in common, which I think allows us to work together so well, is um, there's a... There's a ability to just kind of play off each other um, as far as like comedy goes. And this isn't a comedy show, but we think a lot alike um, on what we think the audience would enjoy or get something from what we're sharing. And so we're on the same page a lot. So I, I think just um, values wise, yeah. principles wise, and then our sense of humor is very much in sync. So I think we have those things that's in common. It. That's I think. a good answer. Yeah. Okay, there good question. Go. All right, those are great questions. I um, do you have any? Cameron's got one more. Okay. Question. Yeah. So, final question: What was y'all's overall opinion on the four of us when you walked in here? When you guys all oh, walked man. in, oh. you know, a little scary. <laughs> I'm just yeah, I was I'm intimidated. Totally I was intimidated for sure. No. Um, you, I will say this because you're. I, I didn't know this. Were, I thought it was seniors coming in. You guys are just sophomores, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Super sharp. Mm-hmm. Really impressed. Really impressed. Yeah. Every one of you, you're, you can carry yourself well. Good manners. Yeah. Great questions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Super engaged. Yeah. I'm just really impressed with all of you. And I'm with you. I thought they were seniors um, because of their maturity. So, I mean, whenever y'all get to be seniors, you're going to be like giving yeah. us tips on life. <laughs> right? I have a feeling because they're already so. way ahead of the game. But yeah, see, look at their egos yeah. exploding. So many giftings right here <laughs> yeah. at this table. So really it's, sharp. it's been an honor to have you it's all here stuff. in the studio. Thanks for hanging out with us this morning. 
Real people. Real life. Real fun. Family Fun Friday. The KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. Ready for some good news? We are too. Here's your positive difference story of the day. All right, so Brittany Tyler is a foster mama. She lives in Kentucky, and she happened to be scrolling through her news feed on, in May of 2022. That's when she's noticed a story about a little baby boy who had been surrendered at a local fire station, one of those like baby boxes like oh, we've yeah, started yeah, getting yeah. here in Northwest Arkansas. She said, that moment I started praying that he would be placed with us. That's what she told the Today Show. Uh, but I didn't want to get my hopes up, she said. She doesn't ever know how it's all going to work out. Well, because of Kentucky's Safe Infant Act, that allows somebody to anonymously and legally relinquish an infant at a designated location like Mm -hmm. a fire station with no questions asked. Well, Brittany and her husband Chris would later learn that the newborn's birth mom had placed him in a shoebox with a blanket and a handwritten note explaining that she wasn't able to properly care for him. And at the bottom was a little note that simply said, I love you. Wow. Right? I cannot imagine. Yeah. How hard that would be. For a mom? Yeah. Right. Well, Brittany, well, she loves him too. In fact, Samuel is his name. Brittany and her husband chose their son, who is now 12 months old, to come into their family. The couple adopted Samuel back in December, so just a couple of months ago. After fostering him for 581 days, he's joining Judah, who's eight, and Calvin, who's five. Who's five? The uh, Tylers got a call about fostering Samuel just days after he was surrendered. She said, "My prayers were answered." Brittany and Chris were first introduced to the newborn, and he was just three pounds. He was in the NICU at the hospital, so he was a little, little one when he was surrendered. The Tylers were chosen because they foster medically fragile babies. So that's why their family was chosen. And Dad notes that the uh, two other brothers, Jude and Calvin, immediately smitten. They happen to be foster kiddos who've been adopted as well. So you've got these three no foster brothers who are inseparable now, which is wow. pretty awesome. They said everybody loves Samuel's hugs. And he's a cuddly kid. Samuel's name, they said, has special meaning from the Bible where Hannah is a barren woman who prays for a child and God answers the prayer of Hannah as Samuel. So that's why they chose his name. Brittany and Chris want Samuel's birth mom to know that they love her for what she did and that they're saving that note for Samuel to read Mm. one day when he's older. In fact, he also sleeps with the blanket that he was surrendered in. They had a teddy bear made out of it. Is that not amazing? Wow. So That is incredible. Yeah. Shout out, first of all, really hard choice, brave mm-hmm. choice for that mom if she really couldn't take care of him. Mm-hmm. And then for this couple to have their arms open, even to tough situations, mm-hmm. that's pretty cool. I hope because this has been out on the news, I hope that mom gets word of this story. Yes. Surely she will. Because, I mean, she knows. It's the yeah. blanket. It's the note. Yeah. To know so that she would know that that would be her son. And her baby boy's okay. Yeah. That is our positive different story of the day. The KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. 90.9 KLRC. All right, ready to talk movies? Let's go see the stars. <laughs> yes. It's going to be a rainy weekend. Might be a good weekend to catch a flick it if is. you want. Hey, did you notice it? Like when I sing, it sounds like one of the munchkins from Wizard of Oz. Have you ever thought that? Um, I've thought lots of things, but <laughs> that what may I be. Uh-huh. Okay, there you go. Uh, all right, so let's talk movies let's from our friends at Plugged In <laughs> and the Plugged In Movie Review. This week, they're checking out a new movie called Argyle. It's rated PG-13. So here's what they said. With some notable exceptions, spy movies aren't typically known for their gritty realism. James Bond drives invisible cars, hurls cliffs, you know. Union Jack and the Parachute, Mission Impossible, Mm -hmm. and all those stunts. But they said this, Argyle makes those movies seem like documentaries. Oh. Like, oh my. Basically, throw all sense of reality out the window. Okay. That's how this works. I like it. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) They said Argyle is basically ridiculous, outlandish in its twists and turns. They don't worry too much about their plot. 
It's meant to be silly and proudly wears that silliness like a six-year-old girl might wear a unicorn-themed footy pajamas. It can be unhinged and delightfully so. Wow, that's okay. pretty descriptive. And <laughs> I guess. The whole thing is very interesting. Okay, All okay. Right. They said um, the violence is definitely in there. It's a spy movie, so you're going to have some violence in there. So thankfully, not a whole, it's not a lot of bloodiness, but there's still violence. Uh, they said the clothes might be tight, but at least they stay on. I guess that's good. Okay. It's case. always good to keep the clothes on. <laughs> yes, we agree. <laughs> uh, and they said, here's the deal. That's not necessarily a total seal of approval. Uh, definitely, they said the body count would be enough to depopulate a European micronation. What? So, a lot of people lose their <laughs> lives, clearly. Oh, okay. um, All right. So, it is rated PG-13, so there's definitely some stuff to consider. Definitely not something for the younger kiddos. So, heavy caution for the young kiddos, medium caution for teens, like caution for adults. I have to process that whole review. Like even that last statement, like right. it, take out the European, what did it say? Yeah. Uh, depopulate a European micronation. Yeah. I don't, what's a micronation anyway? I don't know. Like a little country, bitty nation? Yeah. yeah. A little baby nation. Yeah. Those are big words for me. Yes. Now, if you're thinking about streaming a movie and mm-hmm. looking for something a little more family friendly, yeah. out on the streaming services now. The Jungle Book, the 1967 edition. What? The old school classic Jungle Book is now out on the streaming platform. That's amazing. Yeah, I'm going to see if cool. Mac wants to watch that. Um, see if he'd be into it. My Fair Lady is out there too. Wizard of Oz. Oh. Weren't we just talking about Wizard we of Oz this morning? I was, well, I was just talking about how I sing like a munchkin. Yes. But. So, was it somebody was saying it's a little creepy for them? Yeah. Oh, my it's son, Mac, Mac when he right. first watched it, like, eh, he saw the so munchkins. Sure. They're like, we represent <laughs> the lollipop kids. Lo- that's See, even your face right now, that's yeah. the same face Mac made it's, when he saw that. It was and definitely real creepy. Real people, real life, real fun. Family Fun Friday. The KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. It's Friday, February 2nd. Time to celebrate you. It's time for the Marketplace Grill birthday bash. And celebrating today, Gabby Thompson, 17, in Huntsville, and Ramsey Grace Andrews and Gentry having a birthday, as well as Cal Gwynn, 29, in Jay, Oklahoma. I'm 29 every year. I wonder if Cal is also 29 thing, every just year. Same thing, over. And Andrea Bug, turning 49, in Prairie Grove, in Brooklyn. Warmington turning mm-hmm. eight in Springdale. All right. Also, James Elliott, the big 6 0 in Rogers today. Uh, also, William Sheridan in Siloam Springs. Levi Miller in Centerton. Walter Pigeon in Hobart, Oklahoma, 49 today. Carolyn Taylor in Gravit. Stephen Sloop in Springdale celebrates today. Also, Gabby Thompson, 17 in Huntsville. And Sophia Yaris, Yaris in Fayetteville turns 10 today. And uh, William Sheridan, too. All right. All right. And happy early birthday celebrating tomorrow, Saturday, February 3rd. Shayla Oldham, 40 over the hill tomorrow in Fayetteville. And uh, Thaddeus Chambers, the big five in Centerton. Oh, I'm sorry, the big five zero fifty. 50. Mm-hmm. That's Cinquenta in Spanish. I don't know why I'm talking Maybe Spanish. Maybe five right at now. heart. Still a kid at heart. <laughs> yes. And Sarah Thompson, officially a teenager today, 13 years old in Siloam Springs. And Eli Wiggins turning 20 in Little Flock. And Ella Perea, double digits today, 10 years old in Springdale. And Berkeley Morton, Morton turning the big three in Springdale. All right. And the randomizers picked out a winner for us this morning. William. Hey, William. William. What's up, man? How are you doing? Good. Good. Hey, this is Mark and Christy. We were calling to say happy, happy birthday. birthday. And congrats. Thank You're the winner you. of our birthday bash today. <laughs> Thank you.